In looking to sum up kind of the lessons learned of my life and my career, it always keeps coming back to the theme of roads, the transformative power of roads that I learned when I was out in that first district as a 26-year-old rural development advisor foreign service officer having been stuck in Vietnam to do this job, never would have sought it for myself. But I learned the great lesson of the transformative power of roads and new seeds, miracle seeds, roads and rice, roads and wheat. And I had the opportunity much, much later in my career in 2013 to address the United Nations in New York at the invitation of the UN Food and Agriculture Organization located in Rome in Italy and in giving the keynote address I got around to the theme of roads and I said, if you want to see the power of roads, how they relate to confronting hunger, and to how they promote peace and attack terrorism in conflict. So take the UN hunger map and lay it out flat. And on it, you see these shaded areas in Africa, in South Asia, in Southeast Asia, in Central America, which represent the places where there are these one billion chronically hungry people who live in food insecurity. And on top of it, Go and find the World Security Map, the equivalent of the hunger map, only with the shaded areas where there's terrorism and conflict and insurgency. And you lay them one on top of the other, and you see that those areas of conflict, insurgency, and terrorism are almost coterminous in every instance with the areas of the poverty and malnutrition and hunger. And then on top of both of those lay the world highway and rural road map. And where the small roads come off the major highways and where they penetrate society. And you'll see that where those roads come to, those shaded areas of hunger and conflict, that where the roads end where the road ends, poverty and malnutrition and hunger and conflict and insurgency and terrorism all begin. The lesson I learned and took away from that experience in Vietnam in 1968 and 69 and I then carried with me to Cambodia to use that formula, roads and rice, to destroy the Khmer Rouge. And then into the World Food Prize. And as I travel the world, and travel all across Africa, and I see it in country after country. And I look back at the experiences when I was in Southeast Asia, Rural road penetration was maybe 50%. Now it's 98%. Back then, the whole region was at war. Now it's at peace. In 1979, China had 
50% rural road penetration. Now it has 98. And China is transformed from a country of 70 to 80% of people living in poverty to less than 5%. And it's what transformed America in the 19th century. where the road ends. One of the great, great lessons of my life and my career in promoting peace through agriculture. 